I know y'all can't tell, uh, but I'm recently gay. Yeah, you have to clap when you'll be canceled. Um, <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be over here long term. I was just over here like doing a little sample trial, like a seven day free trial. Don't put your credit card number in. Um, and I had so much fun, I forgot to cancel my subscription. And I've been here for three years now and it's crazy. Like, cause being gay is expensive and they don't talk about that. It's expensive. And like, I'm picky with my gay. That's the thing, I'm not gay for everybody. Very picky. Like when ugly girls find out I'm gay, they be like, you gay? I be like, nah. It has absolutely nothing to do with you, no. I'm not dating an ugly guy. I'm not gonna date an ugly girl, that's a waste. If I'm gonna be gay, I need to be top-notch gay. So I went and found me a girlfriend and she's beautiful. And it's crazy because I picked the restaurant for the first date. We met at the restaurant. She was dressed up, I was dressed up, it was cute. We ordered food, she got food, I got food. She got drinks, I got drinks. She was like, let's take shots. I was like, let's take shots. <laughs> Took shots, she was like, let's get dessert. I was like, baby, let's do it. <laughs> and then the bill came out, right? And it got quiet like this. Cause at that point we was just two beautiful women sitting across from each other. And I was confused cause I was trying to figure out who was paying for it cause I knew I wasn't. <laughs> I was like, I'm not paying for this. I don't know what she thinking, but I know I'm not. So the waiter came back out to the table. He was like, are you ladies ready yet? I was like, we are not, we have a problem. Give us a second. Let's, let's figure this out. So I looked at her across the table and I was like, well, since I picked the restaurant, I think I should be the judge of this. So I looked at her, and then I looked back at myself, and I was like, well, my titties are bigger than yours. So you the man by default. <laughs> Pay this bill and make sure you tip, sir. <laughs> and she did, she paid it. She's a great guy, she's a good one. Um, but Rose switched a little bit recently. She woke up on her birthday this year, and she was like, baby, I know what I want for my birthday now. And I was like, okay, what is that? She was like, I want you to fuck me with a dildo. And it was six o'clock in the morning. I was like, I don't know if she just had a dream, but it's early. So I was like, okay, cool. So I asked her a question. I was like, what size dildo do you want me to get? And she was like, I don't care, just nothing too big. So I was like, you want me to go to the store? buy a dick, and I get the biggest dick in the store? <laughs> like, if you could pick your dick, sir, would you not have the biggest dick in the store? <laughs> Nobody buying bottom shelf dicks, top shelf dicks only. <laughs> My dad is Jamaican, I gotta make him proud, you know? <laughs> and the dick gotta be brown, because it has to match my knees, you know? You don't... You don't wanna turn around and see two different colors. That's like, ah, that's not what I was looking for, no. That's not what you want. So I go to the store, and I see the dick I want. The dick I want, it wasn't on display, it wasn't. It was in the back. Both employees had to go on a break and go get the dick together. <laughs> they bring it out to the register. It was a 10 and a half inch brown dick, I got it. They rung it up. This dick was $175. Did you know dicks cost that much? <laughs> Me neither, I called her back. I said, you know you can go get regular dick for free, right? This is expensive. It's <laughs> a lot. She was like, it's my birthday. I want what I want. I said, you're absolutely right. So I got the dick. She called me right back. She said, I forgot to tell you, when you buy a new dick, you have to buy new shoes for balance. Expensive, so I go two stores over, I get brand new shoes, $100. We had a $275 dick package at this point. <laughs> so I get it, I go home, I'm ready. I'm like, okay. Then I get home and it hit me. I was like, I never had a dick before. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> so I took a shower with the dick on for practice. I took a shower, <laughs> I took a shower with the dick on. I gotta be great at everything I do. And let me tell you, big dick energy is real. <laughs> this is one of the best showers I took all year, okay? 
Big dick energy is so real because you don't have to bend your back. You don't have to do too much when you have a big dick. I'm just in the shower like, yeah, this, I can kill with this. I like this. I'm peeking in and out the curtains, looking at it. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Get out the shower. I dry off. I put lotion on my kneecaps. You know, you don't want to give dick for the first time ashy. Put the lotion on. I put my shoes on. It's time. So we have sex. I kill it. I know I do, because big dick energy is real. Uh, she came, of course. I didn't. I took the dick off. It's not mine. <laughs> this has nothing to do with me. This is about her. So then she was like, baby, this was good, but... I was like, but? She was like, but you hurt me. I was like, what? You asked for this. She was like, I know, but it was so big, you like moved around something in my insides. And I was like, yeah. That sound like $275 worth of dick to me. That, 